Yo, if you're not a zombie, you're listening to the Ant-Man on Sunday, the 13th, January 2013. I am your host, my friend. I am your hostess with the mostess. I am here in the Antelope Valley, the, the small desert valley outside of L.A. County. Well, we are L.A. County, but we are like a big suburb out in... You can't even call it the outskirts because we are like the desert part of L.A. But here I am in Yuppieville, Southern California, and um, I got the news for you. Thank you for coming and joining me for the news today. Cops unleash armored beast for patrols. Maneuver prompted by high-end violent crimes. Oh yeah, Piers Morgan, you think that the government's going to turn on you? <laughs> well, why don't you look at the news with me, Mr. Piers Morgan? By Michael Thompson, police in one Atlanta community are taking extraordinary measures to deal with heightened rates of violent crime. The unleashing of armored vehicles capable of withstanding bullets fired at AK-47s from AK-47s. Originally reported by WSB Atlanta, police are using an armored vehicle normally used by SWAT teams to battle a series of burglaries and home invasions in a, southern, in a South Fulton County neighborhood. Fulton County Police Captain Wade Yates said the vehicle could help in a foot chase. Last week, a woman was shot multiple times during a break-in in the area. Police say the burglar fled in a stolen car and were able to escape when they jumped out and ran into some woods. But the new unit is equipped with thermal imaging for such a time as that, officials said. Police also said the armored car is meant to reassure residents... Officers are also putting in longer hours and more patrol shifts to increase police presence in the area, the report said. MSNBC reported that police departments across the nation are requiring the Ballistic Engineered Armored Response, BEAR, B -E -A -R, vehicle with a price tag between $190,000 and $300,000. Dollars. Tax dollars. The BEAR doesn't come cheap. The Bearcat G3 claims the vastly majority... The vast majority of armored personnel carrier sales to SWAT teams in the United States. Fashioned from a Ford F-550 commercial truck chassis, uh, Massachusetts-based Lenko builds about 200 such vehicles in year, uh, in grades from VIP SUV to combat ready with gun turrets. The massive roller is actually a smaller version of the Bear or Ballistic Engineered Armor Response Vehicle, with Lenko builds, which Lenko builds for armies and law enforcement agencies around the world. The company confirms the Lenko Bearcat can easily qualify as a necessary tool under several different grants pro programs from disaster response to crime fighting, it said. The Bearcat G3 offers 7.62 AP uh, 50 caliber BMG protection with V-hull design and blast seats against an, as an upgrade. For 2012, FBI data on violent crime showed that Atlanta is the 8th most dangerous city in America. The area where the Bearcat G3 is being deployed is roughly 81% black. W, I mean, what does that have to do with anything? Oh, I guess it's because of the mainstream media brainwashing certain people. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not your most savvy in that area, but I can tell you that... The only thing I know about that is that the, the, the mainstream news does not report the, the uh, mob violence that really does happen. WSBTV also reported that Fulton County resident John Hunter thought the movie, uh, thought the move overkill. It's a bit much. It's not Afghanistan, Hunter told the station. <laughs> not all details about the vehicle are being released, police said, for security reasons. I mean, anything that we create, they turn on us, man. I mean, it's like Alex Jones says. They don't create anything. The government does not create anything. They take everything we create and turn it on us. It's disgusting. They're pieces of garbage, man.